Yo, what's up guys? It's Mason here with another story time, alright? Now this is my second time uh, recording this video because first time my friend called me in the <laughs> middle of it and it was pretty loud. It was like beep, 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 my ringtone. Well, it doesn't sound like that, but my ringtone was going off in the back. But anyhow, so I was laying in bed thinking of story times upload and I was thinking of what stories and I was like you know this one was actually pretty interesting let's do this one so without further ado no I'm just kidding but without further ado let's get right into this story time so this story time took place I think it was last week or the week before so woke up went to school you know do the usual get ready for school shower get a well I wasn't taking the school bus at the time but drove to school I think I was late this day, to be honest. Um, so I woke up late, went, drove to school. After I drove to school, you know, did my usual watching YouTube all day and then doing my work later in the day. Because that's pretty much what high school Mason does, is watches YouTube, doesn't pay attention really. Um, and just, yeah, barely gets by. So, I was... In school, got out of it because school day ended, you know. I get home and my one friend calls me. He was like, yo, you trying to hang out? So I was like, sure, why not? So this is before I was grounded. I thought I was going to get grounded and my dad was going to take away my PlayStation so I had nothing to do. But in reality, all he did was just take my keys to my car, which is actually pretty toxic. Because um, now I can't go anywhere, but I'm on quarantine anyhow. So I don't got to work or school. I got to do online schooling right now. So yeah, that's not fun because I can't do anything. Anything. I'm literally stuck in my house. Dead bored. But, so my friend calls me up. He was like, yo, you trying to hang out? I was like, sure, why not? I was, we were driving around. He was like, yo, we should get friends someday and go to this place. I was like, well, what place is it? He was like, this store. And we're driving past. It's called At Home, all right? I don't know if any of you know what At Home is. But it's like a store people that if you like just bought a house and need furniture I should have just said like a furniture store it's, that's pretty much what it is just a furniture store so yeah it's like a big furniture store too like I'm talking it's like a whole warehouse just full of aisles stacked it's, it's crazy it's pretty big in there actually so my friends like we should get some friends one day and go in there and play hangu see I was like, maybe another day, but not right now. Let's go look around and just hang around in there. So, we did that. We get in. We hop on the little electric go-karts for disabled people. The vroom, vroom. We see another dude in there cruising around. He was probably 20, something like that. He was a little hype beast. He was wearing Yeezys and stuff. Shout out to him. He was a goat. He raced us and stuff. Um, and then, so we're driving around in this store in these little electric go-kart things uh, <laughs> and we're racing and stuff running in the aisles like and then we see these like big shaft or like type of it's like an aisle but it was like empty so like you, we just climbed to the top pretty much okay I'll just get right to it so we climbed to the top of this aisle we're like looking around the store and stuff we literally see no security cameras I shit you not zero security cameras in this entire building okay and um so there's like zero security cameras or anything and we get down off here we see office chairs okay now office chairs like gaming chairs with like wheels and stuff on them so we're racing these down the aisles and i'm like yo chill out you're gonna push me into the aisle to my friend because he was the one pushing me so he fucking launches my ass like i'm on this chair he fucking like whoo, like throws his whole little ass body into this push and it like makes me go flying like I'm like oh shit like I crash in this aisle it's like ah oh, shit it makes such a loud bang and shit so I get up I'm like getting back on the chair and I see this dude come around the corner I was like uh oh and he like says something I don't know what he says and he like started to look our way and he like turned his cart towards us because he had like a cart like a store cart so I thought he was a customer and he like turns the cart towards us and starts to drive our way I'm like uh okay that's not good so me and my friend start like s s gooching away on our chair 
tone uh, to not make it look obvious or anything. We get to the end of this aisle, and I'm like, oh, shit, we're about to just get up and fucking book it. Like, I mean, run. Like, me and my friend, we're about to get up and run. And this dude, all we hear is, hey, something about chair. I didn't really hear what he said. All I heard was, hey, the chair. And I was like, yo, yeah, we're just test driving them. Like, obviously, we weren't test driving them. We were fucking racing them. So... He was like, hey, build a chair. And I was like, yeah, we're, we're just test driving the chair. He's like, and he was like, you guys need to get off of it. I was like, uh, my friend's like, do you even work here? And the guy's like, yeah, I'm the manager. Now get out of my store before I call the cops and they come arrest you. And my friend's like, the cops? Oh, no. And my friend's like, we weren't even doing anything. And I'm like, the cops aren't going to arrest us because we were on chairs. Like, there's literally no security cameras in here. I don't think that they're going to arrest us because we were on chairs. And he was like, you guys got to get out right now. So, like, we're walking out to the front. He's, like, following us. And he's, like, mumbling stuff. And I was like, Th I don't even think this dude really works here. Like, he was literally just wearing normal clothes, like, fucking khakis and some other type of stuff. And I was like, my friend's like, no, nah, he works here. He's got a walkie-talkie on. But I didn't see, like, a name tag or anything. So, like, I was so confused. And... Dude's like, I better never see you guys back here again, and blah, 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 like, freaking the fuck out, all because we were on some chairs. We're, like, walking around, he's, like, trying to see what car we go to, so uh, we, like, book it to my fucking car and get in and drive away. And my friend's like, I don't want the cops getting a license plane, following us and yelling at us. My friend fucking, I'm not kidding you, he's, like, always bugging about the license plate. He's like, oh, someone's gonna get a license plane, call the cops, the cops, cops. He's so scared of cops, okay? Even if we're doing nothing. Like, I'll literally... Okay, here's the story time in the story time. So, I like to drive around, alright, just for fun. Because, like, driving's peaceful as hell. So, like, I like driving around. And I'll go, like, in the cul-de-sacs and just do circles. Not donuts or anything. Not... No legal shit. Just fucking circles. Just doing little tiny circles. And, like, people get so mad and stuff. And my friend's like, yo, get out of here. They're gonna call the cops. I'm like, call the cops for what? Us doing circles in their fucking cul-de-sac? Like, I'm not doing anything illegal, I'm just fucking driving, it's a public road. Calm down, calm your nipples, don't get your panties in a knot, bud. And he was like, well, I don't want you to get in trouble. I was like, we're not going to get in trouble, but thanks for being a good friend. And, but that was a story time. He always gets bugged out about cops, he's scared of the cops. And, I'm like, well, dude, I'm, well, oh well. The cops come, they, they come, that's it. You know, like, I'm not scared of the cops. But, yeah. So we drive away. We continue hanging out. Then, I think we get... Yeah, we got kicked out of Target later that day, actually. Target and Lowe's, almost. And that's a story time for another story time. But if you guys le like this story time, leave a like. It would mean a lot. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next video.